Today is a very pleasurable occasion. It's a great privilege to be here. Uh, it's a, an example of a huge community spirit that Johnsonville has mm. and uh, a huge amount of work that's taken place over the last three months to get where we are today. So just where did things start? Well, um, I'll take us back a few months. We were in the Northern Liaison Meeting and uh, they were looking at the wall, the blank white wall. It's been a scourge of Johnsonville really for the last, I don't know, 30 odd years just due to the level of graffiti that's always repeatedly mm. uh, a real problem over there. And Angela, I think, said, do you think we could do a mural or something over there just to help spruce things up? And I have to admit, at that stage, there was no artist. Uh, no one had um, even approached Shane at that stage just to work out how long it might take to get it done. And uh, he has taken a huge amount of work, a huge burden on his shoulders, but it's a project I'm sure he's been re really proud to be involved in. And it's, we're very thankful to have had you involved as well, Shane. I first heard about the project uh, through um, an email or newsletter I get from Council, I think it's weekly or monthly or something, because I've done some murals before, before, before. and I just, uh, what struck me was uh, the headline Johns mural project in Johnsonville, and um, I used to live next to Johnsonville Newlands. Like all projects, you kind of, it starts off really hard and then you, you break the back of it and then you roll through it, so it's a beast. It's, about 80, 80 metres of painting. This is um, the first part of the mural, the, the, the start of the mural. Uh, it's the oldest train, because the mural concept is 13 parts, um, a train at each end, and then a theme for each carriage. This is my assistant, Cole. Uh, he's been helping me from the start, and he's been amazing and uh, very thorough, and he knows how to paint. Uh, first theme is Johnson's Clearing and it's the start of Johnsonville, uh, Frank Johnson. And then the second one is uh, Daisy Farm, which is about the farmer who started the first farm there um, after Frank Johnson cleared the land. Yeah, in the middle we have uh, Old Coach Road. Fourth one I think is going to be World War One. Lots of poppies and stuff. And then you've got the stockyards. Sports and recreation. Johnsonville's got a big history. After that one we did the mall. What we did is we played around with the logo Murals can be a good way to engage the community and to tackle um, tagging and graffiti at the same time. Um, so we're working with um, 11 schools and also um, Challenge 2000, which is a youth organisation. And they've been working with Shane. He's been running workshops um, either at, at their school or some, some of them have been coming down to his studio. And he's been working with them and um, they've been providing inspiration for the panels. But Onso College were really keen and so they've opted to take responsibility for doing their panel, which focuses on the ice cream factory that um, Mr. Ben Johnson built. It definitely is bringing the students together. So I've got two groups working on this mural, some year nine students and some year 10 students. And these are probably two groups that don't ordinarily interact and they're starting to interact with one another. So we thought that we'd literally make an ice cream factory factory made of ice cream. And then we've got stuff that you have on ice cream so like personified. So it's kind of childish. Yeah, so it's a lot of teamwork to get it all painted and looking good and I think people will be really wowed by it once the whole hundred meters is up on the wall. I love this panel of the old fashioned train engine. It reminds me of my father's stories of catching the train to Johnsonville when he was a small child. I really like this mural because of the depth in the picture. It really looks like you could actually be, in, be there. It's got stuff on, it's got animals and funny animals and cute animals. I like this panel, it reminds me of Johnsonville in an earlier era, and the fact that as Old Coach Road, it was the main thoroughfare from the city to north. I really like how they've made the lines not parallel, they're not straight like they actually would be in real life, but still looks, has the effect that it would be, and it looks really nice. I love the silhouette of the man standing in the middle. I love the cars, and I love the way they're all facing the same direction. I like this panel because it represents the heroes that were involved in the war. An ice cream factory is quite boring, so the imagination that the kids put into it and the way they've brought that to life with the hand and the butterfly and the hundreds and thousands is just fantastic. I enjoy the cars on that. I love the old Vauxhall in it. 
I think the panel shows the wide range of sports that we do here in Johnsonville. I just love the colours, vibrant and creativity of an artist. So the red carriage, I think that's my favourite. They used to be blue, but apparently they uh, ran out of blue, so they became red. Um, but I think red's more striking as well.